UVC Disinfection Guide. During the pandemic, you will be required to disinfect everything that a patient comes into contact with. When used correctly, UVC can be an effective method of disinfection for frames and tools. When performing a UVC disinfection, you should aim for a log 3 or better reduction in virus particles, which means you have killed at least 99.9% .9 of the viruses. How do you achieve a log 3 reduction? There are four things you must consider. The bulb power, the distance between the object and the bulb, duration of exposure, and shadowing. Objects being placed close together or too close to the bulb will increase shadowing, and that can mean that some parts of the item do not receive sufficient exposure. Using multiple light sources from different directions can help reduce this problem. Frames may require rotation to ensure that all parts are suitably exposed to the UVC. With all those factors determined, we can work out how long you should expose objects for. You should aim for a greater than log 3 reduction, which requires an exposure of 6,020 joules per meter squared. To reach a log 4 reduction, you will need 10,000 joules per meter squared. This table gives you an indication of how long you need to keep objects under UVC exposure for both scenarios and based on different distances from the bulb. Care needs to be taken to ensure that objects are disinfected suitably. If in any doubt, opt for a longer disinfection time to ensure patient safety. And consider wiping the frames over with a suitable disinfecting product first. Always check with manufacturers regarding material suitability before placing objects into the UVC chamber.